Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. We ended the previous video with when I change the orientation of the device, you will observe that the state of the activity is not being maintained. Suddenly, the fragment that was already existed in the screen has been lost and you are seeing some other fragment. So let's try to understand what is happening. You have an activity and on create method of an activity is used to load the first fragment into the activity. And then you click on any one of the item in the fragment through the callback methods, you load the second fragment. But once again, it happens through the callback method implementation that is present in the activity. And just remember that the activity is still in the portrait mode. And this fragment has has been rendered after the on create method and now when the orientation changes the configuration of the activity changes and as you know the activity would restart that means once again the on create method of the activity is getting invoked because of this whatever the earlier activity and the two fragments that we had they are no more valid and when the on create method gets invoked it will once again render the first fragment as if it had started from the beginning and that is why the second fragment which is the country description fragment is no more visible on the screen now the question is how do you resolve this kind of a problem one is you don't allow the activity to restart or you allow the activity to restart but you will have to manage the configuration change both of these are possible but before i get into how to do it i hope that you understand what actually happens to the activity when the screen are rotated from portrait to landscape and landscape to portrait these things have been discussed on the previous videos of the code tutor if you are not familiar with those i suggest you have a look at these videos and once again come back here otherwise it is perfectly fine to continue with the current video so let's get into a demo and see how this actually can be tackled this is the same old code base that i am using i will be doing slight modifications if you observe in the on create method of the activity the country's fragment is getting added and that is why every time activity restarts it freshly adds this particular fragment one of the way of solving this is you want to make sure that the activity doesn't get restarted one way of doing it is if you go to the android manifest file i have added this configuration that is on these configuration changes that is orientation change screen size change or the keyboard hidden change you basically don't want activity to restart and in this way we are basically making sure that the activity doesn't get restarted there is another method called as on configuration change this is the method to get that gets invoked when the configuration changes and if you want to do any specific task when the orientation changes from landscape to portrait or portrait to landscape you can do it here otherwise my code pretty much remains the same i have not done any changes to the country's fragment or even to the country description fragment only the difference is i have added this configuration change in the manifest file of the application for that particular activity i have implemented this method just to demonstrate this is the method that gets invoked so let me run this so as you can observe the on create method gets executed and when i change the orientation you can see that the activity is not getting restarted again only the orientation change method is getting invoked and once again when i change the orientation the on create method of the main activity is not getting called and now when i click on any one of the item i will navigate to a next fragment since the activity is not getting restarted i will retain the same fragment the fragment is not lost i can keep on doing this and you will not observe the activity losing its state or the fragment being lost this is one way of solving it but what if you want to manage it on your phone you don't want to use this configuration change in that case what you will have to do is in the on create method check whether saved bundle state is equal to null if it is equal to null that means it is a fresh on create if it is not equal to null then it is a activity restart because of the configuration change so you want to add this particular fragment only if it is null if it is not equal to null then you don't want to add this particular fragment so let me run the code now you will observe that when i click on any particular item i navigate to next fragment and when i change the orientation even though the activity gets restarted i am not losing the fragment but however 
here there is a problem if i go back to the previous fragment and i click another time it is not navigating to the next fragment what do you think what might have happened the reason why this is not happening is when you change the orientation of the activity the callback that we had set here that is set fragment action listener is no more valid because the activity that is getting set here as the callback listener is no more valid so this needs to be set again when the activity gets restarted if you go back to the countries fragment what you can do is you can override on activity created this particular value will not be null if the activity has been restarted because of the orientation change so here what you can check is if saved instance state is not equal to null that means the activity basically got restarted because of the orientation change you can reset the fragment action listener and fragment action listener is nothing but the main activity so you can do get activity here and this will set the fragment action listener and now let me rerun the application i click on this i change the orientation fragment is not lost i go back i click again once again it works as if the screen orientation change has not affected it at all and this is how you can make sure that the screen orientation doesn't affect the state of the fragments that you are rendering in your activity but so far what we have seen is only one single fragment what if you want to show fragments simultaneously in the screen depending upon which particular screen orientation you are using we shall see how to do that in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye